everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing my spoiler-free review of Stronger by Jeff Bowman. And basically, this is the memoir of Jeff's experience of living through the Boston bombing and losing his two legs and everything that happened after that. So I was really excited. My brother got me this for my birthday and I love it. I loved it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I felt like it did a, he did a really good job at being very honest about his struggles and just like losing his legs and the whole experience of living through that and seeing basically your legs gone. Like it it took like my breath away like he's very honest and he's very candid about kind of these struggles that he had going on during this time and just kind of not only physically but mentally as well and he's very honest about how this not only affected him but those around him which I really appreciated and I'm doing my master's in orthotics and prosthetics so this was a really good like learning experience for me too of learning what's going on through patients mind when they're losing limb although this is like really really traumatic the way he did it during like a basically a terrorist attack but yeah like I it was really useful and there's some kind of like prosthetic stuff in here that was like okay I know what that is and all that stuff um so yeah I really enjoyed this and yeah so my only complaint that I had with this was that it was very rushed it only covers covers like the day of the bombing and a little bit of background and then it covers basically four months of the recovery three to four months of the recovery and then it flashes forward six months um so i felt like it was a bit rushed and i wanted more to hear more about the story because he kept talking about how he wanted to walk um at the one year anniversary of the bombing and so like this book like i said he even talks about in here how this publisher was like you need to finish this now or people will lose interest so i can see why but i still feel like i don't think people would lose interest with the story even a couple like a year or so afterwards but it's a story for another time i did read this before i watched the movie so that's why i was like wait what i don't remember that happening in there but that's because the movie kind of goes past the extent of this book but overall I really like this book it was very hard to get through especially like when he's talking about like what was going on in his mind like the opening chapter of like the bomb and everything like it was like really intense and but overall it was a really good read like I said I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars I took away the half point because it was like I said I felt rushed but overall this was a really good book and then he has a really good sense of humor that does come through with his writing so even though this book deals with such dark subject matter I did find at times that I was laughing yeah, so I read this during my 24 hour readathon so I finished it in one day and um, yeah he also just provides some pictures and just kind of everything there during his recovery and all that so yeah like I said I really enjoyed this book so I recommend reading this book before you watch the movie because it does provide you some background that's not really explained a lot in the movie and I was surprised by some of the stuff that happened in there because I was like wait a second but apparently I looked it up and it did happen. So if you're looking to add more non-fiction books to your TBR shelf or just reading more of them I highly recommend you check this book out. It is very good and it's also very haunting as well. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you read this book and what you thought about it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.